All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, raw review. A full motherfucking raw review. It's been too damn long. Been too damn fucking long. Um, and it was a good show, boy. I fucking loved this episode of Raw. Very, very, very good. Lots of garbage parts there, but let's get into that shit. It started off with Shane McMahon. You know, I made a vid about this yesterday. They're going into detail. Uh, Vince offered the Vince Senior Award to Stephanie. Shane McMahon came out. What a fucking mark out moment it was. You all know what happened there. He's going to fight Taker at Mania, shit like this. And I am looking forward to that fucking match. I'm pumped, motherfuckers. I am pumped. I was all fucking depressed about wrestling. All, like, fucking... Bleh. I felt sick to my stomach just fucking thinking about wrestling. And now I'm all fucking pumped. I'm excited. And I can't wait for Mania. This is what wrestling is about. Mark out moments like that. Shane McMahon coming out. The you still got it chance. Holy shit. This is awesome. The man had like a freaking Hulk Hogan type of freaking crowd reaction. It was just beyond awesome. Doing the, the Shane McMahon uh, <laughs> whatever there. Just fucking super good. Very, very, very good. Um, I'm looking forward to this match. I enjoyed every second of this segment. Vince, Shane, and Stephanie together. It was like the Attitude Air! Motherfucker, the Attitude Air! Holy shit! Fucking super good. Very good. Um, question is, who... Is going to interfere in this friggin match who's gonna interfere um, I'm excited I woke up this morning and I was still marking out for Shane when he came out I started yelling I was on the edge of my seat after a while I just stood up and <laughs> fucking old-school marking out there when Vince announced that Shane was going to fight Taker, I just started screaming again. Some, some primal screams there from our caveman ancestors. Oh! Just big time marking out, dogs. First match, the New Day defeated the Lucha Dragons and Neville. Kind of hard to, to give a shit about this right after the Shane McMahon thing. I wasn't really into it there, but it was all right, I guess. It, it was okay. It was decent. It was, uh... Moving on, moving on, fuck. Next! Next match! Um... Then we had Brock Lesnar coming out. It was Lesnar and uh, Paul Heyman before the show. Lesnar had beaten up Dean Ambrose. Um, they said, like, anybody backstage pretty much can challenge Lesnar at Mania. Dean Ambrose came out of the ambulance. He was crawling on the floor. <laughs> Lesnar just stepped right on his face and walked over him. That was that was pretty damn cool there. Then Ambrose grabbed the mic. He said he wanted to face Lesnar. Um, Lesnar came back F5 on the floor. Poof. And then Heyman says that Lesnar accepts his challenge. Looking forward to this match as well. It's going to be good for Dean Ambrose. I love me some Brock Lesnar. 
I got no complaints with this so far unless the build is completely retarded there but so far I got no problem with this second match the Usos defeated the Ascension in like two minutes the Dudleys were there this was shit garbage Moving on, motherfuckers. We had Jericho and AJ Styles. Jericho, you know, trying to cover up the fact that AJ got beat, you know, like two weeks after making his debut. He's like, oh, if you would have lost two matches, then you, you'd look bad. But losing one match is okay. They're just pretty much to try to cover up the complaints from people. Social Outcast came out. This led to AJ Styles and Jericho defeating the Social Outcast in the tag team match. Um, the match wasn't terrible, but they could have done something better with AJ Styles, something better with Jericho. I guess this was just a way to uh, put an end to their feud or whatever. It, it was okay, I guess. Then you had Goldust and R-Truth backstage there. It's the new Booker T and Goldust. Oh, just, just stick another black guy with Goldust. It's... It's going to be the same thing there. Um, they did the old cake in the face routine there. Goldust had a cake. R-Truth put the cake in his face there. <laughs> cake in the face. <laughs> fuck is this fucking boring pile of shit? Backstage pile of shit segment. Fort match. The Wyatts defeated uh, Ryback, Big Show, and Kane. This was the same match that they did on the pay-per-view. Match was pretty fucking boring, just like it was boring on the pay-per-view. Um, but Ryback left his team. I guess Ryback is turning heel. Um, match sucked anyway there. Ryback was getting the big Goldberg chance. He was getting Gilberg chance because he's going all out with the Goldberg attire now. He's acting like Goldberg in the ring. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's bad. It's, uh, <coughs> it's not good, my friend. Um, fifth match, Sasha Banks defeated Naomi. Um, Sasha was in the ring with Becky Lynch. Then Charlotte came out doing some bad acting. Um, I guess they're going to have a triple threat at Mania. This is a way to set this up there. They're just, you know, trying to start a new storyline. It was, it was pretty boring overall there. And in the main event, we had a no contest between Roman Reigns and Sheamus. Um, because Triple H came out. Triple H came out there and this was fucking epic as well. Very, very, very good. Roman Reigns starts beating up Triple H. Clothesline over the barricade or whatever. Roman Reigns thinks he's all hot shit there. <clears throat> Triple H with the, the ring bell right in the throat. Bam! <laughs> the head in the post, I believe. Then he grabbed Roman and he was whacking his face on the table like 30, 40 head shots or... The head right in the table like 30, 40 times. Roman Reigns was busted open here. Triple H with the old school shots to the face. Like 50 shots to the face. 
Roman was fucking flooded with blood, full of blood all over his face. Big pedigree right on the steel steps, bam, and it, you know, it was done fucking super well. It looked real big time. Roman Reigns sold the move like a pro there, boom, flying backwards. It looked real. It was fucking well done. Full of fucking blood. Like, big time. I enjoyed this very, very, very much. I enjoyed seeing Roman Reigns getting this fucking ass whooped. Oh, it's not real. I don't give a shit. I, it just felt great <laughs> to see the motherfucker bleed. Oh, I know he had, it had to hurt a little bit. Uh, all of that fucking blood the hard way there. None of them blades just... Making him bleed the hard way, busting open his frickin' face. And I enjoyed every fucking second of it. I didn't give a damn about this match. Didn't give a shit about Triple H as champion. <laughs> but after beating the shit out of Roman Reigns, motherfucker, I am now interested in this fucking match. I am. I'm interested in WrestleMania this year. Very good show yesterday. There was some garbage, some throwaway garbage matches here and there. Some decent matches. But we had phenomenal segments with Shane McMahon. Triple H beating up that bum fucking boring son of a bitch was pretty goddamn epic. Lesnar's segment with Ambrose was pretty cool as well. I enjoyed the show. I thought it was a good show. That's my thoughts, dog. I know people are going to find excuses to hate. These want to hate. But the wrestling Jesus loved the show. Damn right, dog. Shane McMahon, son. Shane McMahon. Roman Reigns getting his ass fucking whooped. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Until next time. Peace.